We all know that no two people are alike, especially women. But a person's needs can be very similar, especially in relationships. I took a poll with 10 women that I did not know. And today we will look at 15 things that these 10 women brought up most of the time in the poll that they wanted from a man. Hi, my name's Travis. Let's get right into it. Number one, they wanted a man to be present in all of the interactions, as many as they possibly can be. So if you're talking about something that is going to be serious, that's something that's going to be life changing, something that's going to be something that you guys need to really get into, they prefer that to be in person, not through text, not over the phone. A woman wants to be able to look in your eyes and know that you support her and you are serious about what you're saying to her just as well as she's serious about what she's saying to you. Number two, ask her about her day. Whether you live with her, whether you don't live with her, it is important for most women to be asked by their man how their day was. It has nothing to do with how your day was. You need to ask them how their day was. It means a lot to them. Number three, if she calls you or texts you during the course of the day and you're busy, try to make sure you reach out and call her back. Make sure that she knows that she's important to you even when she's not around you. Call her back. Text her back. Let her know that you care about what she's calling you about, what she's texting you about. Number four, tell her things that you're passionate about. If you're passionate about your recovery, if you're passionate about what you're doing at the gym, if you're passionate about the career that you're trying to get into, let her know these things. Most women want you to open up to them and let them know what it is that you're passionate about. If they can see passion from you in individual things that you're passionate about, they can rest assured that there will be passion in your relationship. Number five, be perceptive. You call her or if you go to the house and she's there and something's going on with her, just kind of know her and be able to sense her and sense when something's going on. A woman doesn't always want to have to tell you something's wrong with them. Sometimes it's just a matter of you saying, honey, I'm noticing something, what's wrong? And that makes them just open up and come out. And that also lets them know that you're in tune with how they're feeling. They really appreciate that. Number six, care about things that are important to her. If something she wants to do, it could be going bowling. It could be going to her friend's cookout. It could be anything, but it's something that's important to her. And if it's not necessarily important to you, but it's important to her and you don't want to do it, keep in mind that it might not be important to you, but it's important to her. And since she's important to you, you should do it because it's important to her. Number seven, be able to empathize with her. When she's talking to you about a situation, an issue she might be, it might be one of her friends, it might be something at work, might be a family member. Be able to understand her feelings the best you can. We don't always get everything, but the best you can empathize. And if you understand them, let her know you understand what she's saying. It's important to her. Number eight, encourage her to meet your friends that are important to you. If she meets your friends that are important to you, she's not going to be that concerned about you when you're not around her and when you're with so-and-so. Because she has met so-and-so, you have to talk to her about so-and-so. You're not hiding so-and-so from her. Oh, that's one of my friends. He just don't um, you, you don't need to meet him and things like that. That brings along suspicion and concern 
And a woman's already a very emotional creature, so you don't want to have her emotionally concerned about things that you're doing when you're not around her. It's not a good look. Number nine, surprise her once in a while. You know, let her come home and you already got the house smelling like food and you're already cooking. You don't have to call her and say, honey, I'm cooking today. Just go in and do it. Just surprise her. Just do things that you know she would definitely appreciate. Don't have a list in your house of, I only do these things, you only do these things. I only do these things in a relationship, you only do these things. You know, do things together and individually try to do the things that the other one does, does on a regular basis. Every now and then you do. Shows appreciation to the person. Number 10, be vocal about what you like about her. If you see how she deals with her friends, when her friends call her when they need her, and you sitting there and you watching her and you seeing how she's giving them feedback and how she's being very caring and loving and stuff, let her know that. Don't take for granted, oh, she knows I feel that way. No, let her know that. Be vocal about how you feel about her. Number 11, talk about what her dreams are. She might have dreams of doing something that she might not share a lot, but it might be a dream of hers. She might have a dream from when she was a little girl and she could be 40 now and she might have let that dream go. She might have dreamed of playing in a play or singing or doing any of those things. Ask her about her dreams. Ask her about the things that she thought about and laid in her bed and dreamt about before she met you. Let her know that you care about what she did even before she met you and what her dreams were. Ask her. Number 12, make her feel sexy. Making her feel sexy is not just about sex. You know, you're walking down the street with her and she's looking very nice and she got that certain swagger about her and you reach out and grab her hand and hold her. You feel like touching her. You want to touch her. You want to hold her. You want to let her know that she's looking sexy and she makes you feel sexy. You got to let her know that. You got to be able to satisfy your mate before you get to the bedroom. Number 13, value unique ideals. If y'all normally going on Caribbean cruises and all of a sudden one day she says, I want to take a transatlantic cruise. I want to go to Alaska. I want to do some, something like that. Appreciate that unique ideal. It's different and it's unique. It's different than what she would normally do. But it's still a unique ideal. And it could be an ideal that benefits the both of you. Because if you always do just the same things, the same things, the same things, you never give other things an opportunity. And you may like them even more than what you're doing. Number 14, respect her space. Before y'all were in a relationship, you were individuals. She's in the house reading a book and you come in and she's got everything nice and quiet and she's got her little music on and she's reading and she's focused and she's paying attention and she says, hey baby, when you come in and she's zeroing in on the book and you take your shower and you get done, go on out to the living room or, or go somewhere. Let her appreciate her space because that space and that time away from you and that time to herself validates her as an individual, which is better for you when y'all come together in the relationship. And last but not least, number 15, respect the little things. The things you did at the beginning, if you opened the door for her, if you brought her flowers, that first kiss, the first time y'all went somewhere, the first date, remind her that you remember those things. And those are the little things that brought y'all to where y'all are today. Never forget about the little things because it's the little things that make the biggest difference. You like anything I said in this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. I'm open to all comments. I read all comments. Men, 
Coming up, we're going to have a video about what men want. I didn't leave us out, but I wanted to do this one first. With that being said, the Libra man is out.